Hello everyone! Patch 10.1 Embers of Nelfarian. The next chapter for the story of Dragonflight has arrived. While we did manage to defeat Razakev, we're unable to stop our siblings from being set free. We traded one for three primal incarnates on the loose. Iridacron, Viranov and Virak. They return to the Forbidden Reach to unearth the secrets of Nelfarian. Secrets connected to his laboratory called Aberus. Watch their movements, their Sarkrev and the Sundered Flame. When the Dragfear woke up, some decided to help out on the Dragon Isles. Some of them decided to ally with either the Alliance or the Horde. But Sarkrev wanting nothing to do with any of that, with any other aspect of dragons. They had followed Nelfarian's orders, fought in his wars, and their reward was betrayal, being placed in stasis. They instead would claim the destiny that is theirs by right. But it's been a very long time that they spent on the ground now. The times have changed. Their father in general is no longer there to command and control them. Their destiny is their own. And some, like Sarkrev, they continue to follow the path and the legacy of darkness from Nelfarian. While others, like skill commander Emberfall, they plan to carve out a new path. Trespass in Shakar territory! Explain what you are doing here. Uh, can we get on with it? You said we'd find it here. We have. From what I have transcribed, Naltharion had a hidden path to Avarice, just below this ridge. Sealed beneath earth and water, undisturbed for thousands of years. Then let us open the way. Elemental power below. Wake the elders from their slumber and incinerate any who stand in our way. Awake, the drag there will succumb to the temptation of Avarus and unleash the aspect's darkest nightmares. Come, we have much to do. Let the children of Neltharion claim their birthright. Why usher for Rock below instead of going himself? Eridacron has always had his schemes, but Farak has only sought out power. Whatever they seek will bring suffering to dragons and mortals alike. Ibisian, Sibelian, Rathion, we must call upon you to pursue him with the champion. It will be done, Lifebinder. We will ensure Farrakh's destruction. Whatever it takes. I must recruit Emberthal to our quest. Wait for me at the entrance. 
why? Surely we four are more than enough. I made a promise to her that we would assist each other in our pursuits. Then make haste, Abyssian. We cannot let this incarnate slip through our grasp. Considering they were dealing with the embers of Nelfarian, or Deathwing as most of you know him as, we're of course partying with his children, with some of the most prominent members that the Black Dragonflight has left. Refion and Sibelian, they've been competing and arguing over who is going to be the choice to lead their flight into the future, to become the next aspect. Completely disregarding the option of having Ebonhorn leading them, he has stood with and counseled millennia of high mountain chieftains. While Sibelian, he has served his father, got stuck in Outland for a while, and Raphion, while well, eventually he did manage to slay off, he also caused quite a bit of death and destruction. Who will pick up that mantle is still to be decided. For now, we pay our respects to Shaukiel, the centaur who tried to confront Firak must now be buried where he fell, as the ash, it cannot be moved. The flames will not subside, and otherwise, his spirits won't be led to Onara. Afterwards, it's time to dive and go after them, but something isn't quite right. See, Rathian, they have been marshalling a defense while we tarried. Rathian, did you hear that? A voice? Rathian, pay attention! N yes. Of course. These primalists do not stand a chance. For some reason, hearing voices and having someone tug at their minds, it does not immediately spark concern for our local old god experts. Even if the voices are not from them per se, but it does make invading the cave with a whole bunch of primalists a lot more fun. I will keep low. We have not been spotted. I usually prefer the stealthy approach as well, but now is the time to let dragons be dragons. Remind these weaklings who they are dealing with. Rathian, no! You are just going to- Going to terrify them? Make them reevaluate their life choices? Agreed. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you order-addled fools would come! Remember the name Lorak! I ensure these caverns will be your tomb! You think dragons fall so easily? Stop! He is baiting us, Rathian! Oh, that blasted! We have lost the element of surprise. Champion, take on the ground forces and I will support you from the air. Well, stop your showboating. Fall in line and listen to my strategy. Your endless whining about a strategy will not win you the throne. Stay back, old man. Allow me to clear the way for you. Insufferable. Now they try to best the black dragon flight with with fire. <laughs> oh, cute. Indeed. Their grasp of effective stratagem is only surpassed by yours, Rathian. Now, shall we kick the braggart off his walking mountain of mud? This filthy fool seems to be the only one left standing against us. Should we not have some fun? Lord Farak was unconcerned, but I knew you'd follow! I am a planner! I am prepared! I didn't plan for this! Ugh. Ugh. I've got muck in my boots. Disgusting. <laughs> I must admit, Rathian, you acquitted yourself well in the fight. Well, uh, Thank you, civilian. Once we have dealt with this flame incarnate, I will be sure to find a place for you. Among my troops. Your troops? Sepelius!
it. The key is to bonk them in just the right spot with a 10 ton crystal. <laughs> oh, my joints will be hurting later tonight. Anywho, you look like you're new around these parts. Welcome, Uplander. I'm Honey Pelt. You're an Uplander, aren't you? You've gotten yourself into quite the bind. Would you like some help? Elder Honeypot is as sweet as the name suggests, and part of the new race infection that we meet down in Zaralek Cavern. They're called the Niffin. As you might imagine, these mole creatures are blind. They follow their nose to find their way. Every other sentence is also smell related, but that's neither here nor there. She was sweet enough to save us before we became the Deep Flayer's next meal. And her nose, it guides us back to our comrades. I just expected more after listening to you boast about how you slew Nazoth single-handedly. It was a team effort, something you are incapable of understanding. We are the Black Dragonflight. That means something. Neltherian would never have fallen to such a foe. Comparing yourself to Daddy Dearest? You have shown your true colors if that is your aspiration. Father! Wait. Father. Yes. I knew that relic back there looked familiar. Are you walking away from me? Two can play at that game. If you need me, champion, seek me over there. Those two remind me of my cousins. They couldn't stand each other either. I'd use them to flush out bone spiders with their bickering. Well, Uplander, I could use some assistance. I figure since I saved your sniffer, least you could do is help me with some hunting. Well, let's get going. I've got the most stinky bait. It'll be perfect. <clears throat> Before we start, I know my relationship with Sibelian is certainly strained, but our behavior back there was out of line. I think it is this place. Something out there is testing my mental defenses, worming its way through my mind and keeping my teeth on edge. I will speak to Sibelian about the outburst in my own time. Things are never simple with him. You both have my apologies. You boys just need to sniff it out. Words can hurt, but the nose never lies. Well, it does if we set a trap with these chunks of meat. The big and deep flare we're after will be lured into our ambush by the smell. After taking down the big deep flayer, we leave Refion to prepare it, giving us a chance to help out Sibelian. We will meet again later. Wait, champion. Before you go, I feel I must... apologize. My temper got the best of me a moment ago. In truth, I reminded myself of my father in that moment. But that is not who I am. Something about this place is causing me to lose focus and become distracted. That is how Farrakh was able to defeat us so easily. I will not let that happen again. Rathian, as brash a fool as he is, did not deserve my ire. Neither did you. Please forgive my reaction and let us continue as companions. Ah, perfect. Thank you, champion. These spare parts are just what I need. And a hidden slot with buttons, you say? Ah, here it is. The faded symbols on the buttons. They are draconic. Oh! What is this now? My ambitions were far greater than my capacity to control what I had created. Oh, Aberus, my beloved laboratory. I must leave you to the dust and ruin of these caverns. May my kin never find what I have attempted here. Father, what is Aberus? What horrors have you unleashed upon us this time? 
The primal incarnates somehow knew about Abarus, but Nelfarian's fellow aspects, and most certainly his children, did not. We know their father best as Deathwing the Destroyer, but once upon a time, he was chosen to become the Earth Warder. He was transformed from Proto-Dragon into full-blown dragon, and even back then, even when he was still a Proto-Dragon, he could already hear the whispers of the old gods. Their influence and manipulation, it was already present even before he got his stronger connection to the Earth. Fast forward a few millennia, a gap in his story, where he did things like create the Dragfear and fight against the Primal Incarnates. Fast forward to the War of the Ancients, and there we see his madness released. Now to filling in that gap, the time and actions that it took to transform him. Part of it is done right here. Those secrets are now slowly coming to the surface, and we're not the only ones going after them. Sarkarev and his Sundered Flame, they're working hard to claim Nalfarian's legacy. Now at Loam, our major city within the cavern, we find the Bician and Emberfall ready to join us on the next part of the journey. While the Niffin saw an eruption of fire in the cavern you came from, was that Farak? He defeated us, as if we were nothing. He is surprisingly stealthy. I am sure we can devise an effective strategy if we are not distracted by... The Whispers. Yes, they distracted us at key moments. They are quieter when I use my visage. Also, I have discovered some recording artifice of my father's. He talked of a laboratory called Abaris. A sundered flame partisan was killed by one of them. Neltharion. That must be why Sarkarath is here. I will go and search for this Abarus, quietly and alone. Stay hidden, Rathian. Queen Orondia has spoken of a nearby temple. Could it be connected to Abarus? I would ask Elder Honeypelt to guide you. She is quite capable. Indeed. She saved Sibelian from the Deep Players. You should have heard his cries. <laughs> I was able to rescue myself without any assistance whatsoever. Unlike... Ah, it is foolish sparring with that whelp. Oh, Elder Honeypelt, I was just coming to tell you. Tabaros went to the vault and... He's gone! He and his Uplander client were kidnapped. Oh, by the cinder-smelling scale people like her. You mean like me? The Sunder Flame must be there, but why? Can you take us there? Anything for my sweet-smelling snaily kids. I mean, <clears throat> to Barros. Oh, follow me. I'll show you where I last saw him. We make sure to gather as much information as we can, but we're working on a rescue mission. At last, my research has given me a clue how to reach Abarus. A nearby Titan vault contains a copy of all Neltharian's plans and bases. I must get inside. The Titans abandoned the vault to the south. But father claimed it, naming it Nal Kaskol. Can it be? Did father really hide this artifact in Nal Kaskol? I must have it. The whispers showed me through the veil of lies, and now I am free. Abarus will be barred to all but my most trusted subjects. The keys hidden in Nal Kaskol. Ooh, happy scent trails. Oh, thank the Kithmane. You freed us. Oh, thank you for saving us, uh, champion. Oh, is that really you? It is so good to see you again. Well, we need to get out of here. I can smell my grub nectar nearby. Your grub nectar? I, I mean my... Never, never mind. Just follow me. Grub nectar. I knew I smelled your scent. Snailykins, oh, you're all right. I thought I'd never smell your scent again. I thought Grub Nectar was some sort of food. How is that a pet name? Ugh. <clears throat> I don't want to interrupt your reunion, but... Champion, we must get to the vault. The rest of you should go back to Loam where it's safer. What? Between large snails, poisonous moths, and the sundered flame, I think I'd rather stay with you. Thank you very much. 
Besides, who are you that you think you are in charge? I am Scale Commander Emberthal, and this is Abyssian. Right. <laughs> Oh, you really are them. I, um, I mean, no offense, but I thought you would be bigger or meaner looking. <laughs> you know, dragons, Drakthir. <laughs> I mean, you've got the Tauren thing down. You look like one, you smell like one, and um, <laughs> I should just stop right here. But if you are heading to the Titan Vault, then, I'm the person you want on your team. Team? Of course. I know a lot about the Titans. And Tubes over here? <laughs> he knows a lot about it, too. A Titan expert, hmm? Perhaps we could use your expertise. Well, if you are staying, keep close to me. I don't want any harm to come to you. I am one step ahead of you. But there's just one thing I didn't calculate into my plans. The door's energy core is depleted, so not sure what to do about that. Hey, my spore paws. What about the machines outside? The ones that make that terrible buzzing sound? Oh, yes, the buzz orbs. I dared to barrest to touch one, and it burned them, the poor thing. Smelled like roasted cave bat for weeks. Maybe if you bring some orbs to the door, they'll zap it open for you. Sounds like a plan. I was just about to give it a try. Now, let's see. Hmm. Uh, whoosh! Vault Observation Executor, Fox, is online. Submit query. Hey, nice acronym. Vox. I'll have to remember that for one of my inventions later. I am Renan Corin of the Dragon Scale Expedition, and a really important person. Uh... Please let me in! Querent unknown. Access denied. Oof. Ibisian, you try it. If this place belonged to Neltharion, maybe it would let a dragon in. My name is Ibisian, son of... Neltharion and the Black Dragon Flight. I wish to enter. Querent unknown. Access denied. Huh? That's weird. We do not have time for this, Renan. Please get the door open. Querent identified. Welcome, Scale Commander Emberthal. Well, what do you know? Why didn't you say you could open the door? Neltharion's safety measures. Only his high-ranking soldiers are allowed in. It would explain how Sakareth gained access. Hey, how did you get in? Tezrin, stop! I do not wish to fight you. I have my orders, Emberthal. I cannot let you pass. Go! Tell Sakareth we've been breached! Yes, sir! But... what about you, Winglord? That was an order, Amithra! Come on! Of course. For the Sundered Flame! The vault has more than just what Sakareth came for. On the sides, there's also trinkets and relics of the past. Among them, a fragment of the boulder that killed Galagrand, the massive mutated proto-dragon that swallowed Tyr's hand and was the whole reason that we got dragon aspects to begin with. There are also some clues being thrown out about Tyr and his involvement or experimentation upon the proto-dragons. We'll talk about that when they continue his story. Well, what are you waiting for? End it! Strike me down! No! No more deaths! I came here to stop Sarkareth and bring him to justice. Not to kill more of us. Fox, initiate containment protocol. Compliant. Still hiding in Abyssian's shadow, I see. Sarkareth, our conflict must end. Our people must unite. I agree. Unite as we were meant to. Bound to the hand of our father, Neltharion. The Oathbinder? Sakareth, no! You will all bow to me! What champion? I can't! You must stop him! 
No! Oathbinder is mine! Is this why you came here? To enslave us again with Neltharion's devices? That's how you would create unity? What have you done? Our father calls to us, Embethal. Can you not hear Neltharion drawing us to Aberus? Telling us to take what is ours? You are not well, Sakareth. Come with me. Perhaps Abyssian can... No! I will claim the legacy we were promised! Vox, initiate transport! Coordinates confirmed. Initiating transport. Sakareth, wait! He's gone. I... have accomplished nothing. This is not over yet. Do you know where he has gone? Hibisian. He said he's hearing Neltharion's voice. He's going to Avaris. Whispers in the dark. This may be worse than I had imagined. But at least the Drakthir here are no longer under his control. The remaining Sundered forces willingly join our side. Never again will the Drakthir be dominated by the Oathbinder. The device used by Nelfarian to control his Drakfir forces until it was broken and he no longer trusted them. Ah, my good friends! What treasures have you brought me? Ignore him! He has no claim to my father's possessions. Is that truly the matter at hand? Who is the rightful heir to a legacy of deceit, control, and fear? So you did find something? We did. And I destroyed it. You had no right. I had every right. So long as that device existed, my people would never be free. What has she done? While well, you two bicker like petulant whelps, she did what was right for her people. Let go of the past. Your flight needs you here and now. Raphion walks away, while Ebonhorn's words startle Sabellian. He is absolutely right. If he wants to become an Aspect, he will need to show everyone what power the true heir to the Black Dragonflight holds. Let us see what they are guarding. Those massive Jaradin. They are beyond anything we encountered in the Waking Shores. Those are Jaradin Elders. Not just dragon slayers, but slayers of entire bloodlines. Look there. That one appears to still be slumbering. And the primalists are awakening her. We must stop them quickly. <sighs> Wait. Do you sense it? That flame infusing the lava. Is it? Shadow flame. The poison that drove Neltharion to madness. We must end this. The corruption cannot be allowed to spread. Looks like everybody found out that the Pram Incarnates made a big hole in the ground, including the Jardin. Their tales already informed us of a time in which their mighty elders emerged with the power of fire infused into their earthen bodies. They had an allegiance with the Proto-Dragons against the dragons. And once they were defeated, legend said that their elders went underground again and there they slumbered. Turns out that those legends were true. Jardin, more powerful than we face so far, they're working hard to awaken their elders. There's Elder Igira, cruelest of the Jardin, master smith of legends. Vakan, black and bone within the fires that taught them the voice of the ashes. Gona, in one arm the strength of ten thousand. And Rashok, great warrior of molten flame. But they're missing, stolen. Don't worry though, we'll run into them soon enough. Furok already awakened two of your elders. He'll get to the last one. Be patient. You speak to us of patience? We have waited centuries for our elders' freedom. Your incarnate must fulfill the bargain. What is that? There, in the caldera. Farrakh! 
he is consuming shadow flame. I smell the blood of dragons. Be gone, worms. Sabellion is wounded. Champion, we must flee. <laughs> Fly away, little dragons! I will master what your flight could not control. Shadow Flame is part of what led to Nelfarian's madness. A power that not even the aspect of Earth could control. Did Iridacron knew this was here? Did he corrupt his brother or has Vrak fallen to temptation? Ebonhorn wonders. But there are questions for another time. Sabellian is hurt badly with Shadow Flame, and there's no time to get help. It's gonna be up to us to get what's needed so we can suck the corruption out of his brother. Uh, uh, he, he caught my arm with Shadow Flame. It was on his breath, Abyssian. He was consumed by <sighs> He speaks. I saw. I know. Let us tend to your wounds. Then we can talk about defeating this monster. Uh, my well-being is of no concern right now. Ferrock is the only thing you should... You are my brother. I will not trade your life for Ferrock's. Nor for anything. Uh, fine. Only so that I may help you in our coming battle. That will work. Place the cores around the totem. We will use them to contain the Shadow Flame as we draw it out of Sibelian's wound. Uh, hurry, champion! I can feel it burning deeper into me. Oh, this is a nightmare! This is what turned my father into a monster! Sibelian, you are not our father. You are so much stronger. You can resist this evil. I have faith in you. Yes. My arm is going numb. What are you doing? Drawing the shadow's corruption to the surface. Hold strong. Ah, the pain is too great. It is done. I have purged it from you. You are free. Gather the cores, champion. We need to get rid of them. Throw them into the lava pool. That will further empower that corrupted incarnate. The harm is already done. Salt, return to the ocean. Ebonhorn would like to get some reinforcements now, but Sibelian wants to strike while the iron's still hot. Try to use the Sakali Dragon Slayer Spear against Firak and end the threat right here, right now. This may look primitive and barbaric, but this is a fine- The mere sight of it fills me with dread. Understandable. This is a weapon with one purpose. Dragon slaying. Now, all our preparation and pain will come to fruition. We have the weapon. We have the opportunity. We must not waste it. Is this- They are one and the same. Revenge does wonders in focusing the mind. That is how I protected our people in Outland. The Black Dragonflight will never allow another shadow-spawned monstrosity to arise. A spear? Do you think I am a fool? The Jaradin would gleefully kill me if they could pierce my hide. Sabellion! The worms tempt me to action. The Shadow Flame is almost mine! Do not leave the Caldera so close. Use the Shadow Flame. Yes! Yes! My new power! This power is now... Up from your subjugation, elders of a Jaradin! We cannot hold here. 
Eldery Kira, do not let that child of Miltharian escape. Primalists, Zakali, Bardward, purge this cavern, and then the Dragon Isles! Gnome. out. The barbs hook behind our scale. I can heat the metal to soften the spearhead. Let... <sighs> Let me gather my strength. Sibelian, you are injured. I would give everything I have to save you, brother. My return... This will hurt, but it will also cauterize the wound. <laughs> That is all I have left. It is done. Remove the spear before it cools, champion. I have not the strength anymore. Back at Loam, we can see just how much destruction Firak has caused. Akunan, the dust mover, has deep, erratic circles dug into the earth around their body, as if he attempted to burrow away from the flames. He did not dig fast enough. Teak, the crystal polisher, in his last moments, it appears that Teak tried to escape the fires by diving into the water. He also did not make it in time. A smooth worry crystal is still clutched in one of his hands. Glua's bone smusher, former drug boxing champion. The fire blasted them. It knocked them right into a rock. They cough up blood, spattering the ground. Their head hurts now. We tried to help them stand. Come on, you're gonna get out of here. But it's already too late. Thankfully, Till, Teller, Talpi and Senka, the resourceful chef, they can still be saved. But just imagine the horror that this must be for them. They use their smell to see, and all they smell now is smoke, fire and death. Brian, please wake up. We've been through worse. I taught you the first rule of hunting was to always come home safely. Elder, we need to get you out of here. I will clear the flames from this doorway. Come with me. I'm not leaving Brian Sauce here. I won't. I will carry him. Go now while it is safe. Brian, you should have sought cover instead of worrying about me. You were so young. I am so sorry, Elder. That beast, the one that smelled like death and sulfur. You kill it for brine sauce, you hear? We tell her that we're sorry for her loss. But she doesn't want us to be sorry. She wants us angry. As that's what we need right now. Firak is out there somewhere, doing the same damage as he's done to Loam. The Dragon Isles and all of Azeroth is in danger. So it's time to return to the seat of the Aspex, inform the Queen of what has happened. This was not your fault, Sibelian. Farak would have caused this suffering regardless of our actions. I was unable to stop him. I've seen such slaughter before. It stays with you. Uh, what happened here? What have you all done? I leave you alone for a moment and- Rathion, not now. Let everyone recover. Let us mourn those that died because of this monster. Come, my kin. We have a duty to report back to the Lifebinder. We must warn her that Farak has been unleashed upon the Dragon Isles. Don't you two pin this on me. I wasn't even involved in that incident in the Caldera. Rathian, 
We must tell the Aspects the news on behalf of our flight. Farak has emerged from Zaralek in a blazing trail of destruction. What happened down there? <clears throat> the situation is dire, Queen Alexstrasza. We pursued Farak to a great cauldron below, a font of elemental fire. He consumed the energies within and emerged, wreathed in shadow flame. Shadow flame? We cannot risk losing you to its corruption. The other flights will hunt Farak and work to stop the Sundered Flame. You cannot return to Zaralek. Respectfully, Lifebinder, it was Deathwing who fell to that corruption. I believe that we have the strength to resist what lies below. All of you? This is our battle to fight. The world must be shown that the Black Dragonflight can bear its responsibilities. Very well. When you are ready, return to Zaralek. May the true spirit of the Earth Warder guide you. Sibelian, Refion, and Ebonhorn. They're gonna have to plan the next steps as we prepare to return to Zaralek. And that's where the story of 10.1 ends for the moment. Eberus still needs to be found. More experiments of Nelfarian await to be uncovered. And who knows what else you might run into within the depths of Zaralek Cavern. That's gonna be for next time though. So for now, thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time. See ya!